Hello, and thank you for joining Serving a Wealthy Tea. Today, I am going to be speaking to you on two scriptures, and it's all about the worship. The first thing I want to talk about is coming from the book of John, with the focus of chapter 4, verse 22 through 24. And I have a question for you. Do you know what worship is? Have you ever gone to a church or have you ever seen people, even on TV, YouTube, what have you, and you've seen people, you've seen people lift their hands up and they are worshiping and with song, with words, and they are just really focused in that moment on who they are worshiping. And of course, it is um, easy to assume they're worshiping Yahweh. Yeshua, who is Jesus, Yahweh, who is God, who God who created everything, is Yahweh. So, when you put it in that context, do you really believe that is worship? Is that all worship is? Is worship just coming to church or wherever you are, not necessarily a church setting? And you lifting your hands up to a God that you believe in and you do it for a certain amount of time or you may take time out your day every day and do this and that to you is considered worship well let's see what is said in the book of John chapter 42 I'm sorry chapter 4 verse 22 to 24 and it says you Samaritans know very little about the one you worship. Now this is Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman, okay? He said, he goes on to say, While the Jews know all about him, for salvation comes through the Jews. But the time is coming, indeed it's here now, when the true when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship Him that way. For God is spirit. So those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. If you really want to know more surrounding this scripture, please feel free to, to read the whole chapter of John chapter 4. It would give you a full indication of why um, this context is the focus, okay? Now, let's go to the next passage. This one is coming from John chapter 9 and 31. Now, this is where Jesus had healed the blind man who was blind from birth. And of course, and Jesus, after he healed him, he was free of that, and he had come across the Pharisees who was questioning um, who Jesus was. So he said, we know God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. And this is, you know, the Pharisee, Sadducee attitude speaking, one of those personalities. And the gentleman that was healed responded, why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know where he comes from? We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. So I want to ask you again, what is worship? Is worship lifting your hands with focus on one specific one that you have highlighted to focus on in an act of civility towards him and just all in for the moment. Well, I want to give you something to think about. When you, or if you are in a situation where you actually do worship, ask yourself, do you worship with your thoughts? Do you worship with your actions? Are you God conscious? Is worship for you limited 
by the time you are in a location of church or wherever you decide to lift up your hands unto the Lord and give him praise, glory, and honor. Is that all you do and you call it worship? Well, worship is beyond that. It is actually, the reason why I say it's beyond that because when you lift your hands and give him glory, give him praise, give him honor, that comes from a lifestyle. Well, it should come from a lifestyle. It's not that you are just supposed to just um, do that type of worship and then you live the rest of your life the way you want, well, the rest of your days or have you. You know, you worship in the morning and then the rest of the day you're not like focused on him. You're doing whatever, however, and you're not even considerate to the one you took time to worship. So I just hope these words have found you well today. And think about it. Are you a true worshiper? And if you're not a true worshiper, then it's time to reconsider your ways and become a true worshiper, right? Of course, this is your own personal conviction. I am not trying to imply that you should stop the way you're doing things. No, that's not my place. But I am giving you something to consider when you talk about how you love and worship the Lord. Are your thoughts of worship? Do you consider Him in your actions and your daily um, lifestyle? Do you even ask Him if, he, if He's okay with how you want to do things? And, your daily decisions. Think about it. Then ask yourself again, what is worship and are you a worshiper? Well, I hope these words again have found you well and until the next time you sit with me, God bless you. Enjoy your tea.